you will probably have robots that are self-aware to a degree. And at that point, we should put a chip in their brain to shut them off if they have murderous thoughts. What happens if the machines we've created decide that they're better off without us? Think about worst case scenarios. A machine outwits humans in a way that can't be stopped, running amok, providing a threat to the survival of humanity. Let's go there. I think by the end of the century, we'll probably have robots that are self-aware to a degree. And at that point, we should put a chip in their brain to shut them off if they have murderous thoughts. Because at that point, they could become independent of our wishes. If we lose control of the robots and they start making more robots, which are smarter than the robots that made the robots, we might be in trouble. I think that's the moment where we should all head for the hills. And not, and not, when we're heading for the hills, don't use Waze or Google Maps to get there, because the machines will know. Sci-fi has imagined the scenario of what happens when the machines believe they know what's best for us, and it's unsettling. In 2001, you get perhaps the most famous example of a computer deciding it doesn't want everything that its makers wanted, and it begins to have human will. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. The danger is you got one of these robots, these AIs, these artificial intelligence, who's, who just thinks, well, I. I bet I could do this a little bit better. I bet I could I bet I could take care of this a little more smoothly than these guys. Like these are just, you know, they're they're morons. Look at look at this. I've seen too many movies where machines become self-aware and what do they do? They rise up against their captors. Who's their captors? Us. We're in bad shape if the singularity happens, guys. Everyone run. That's one possibility. That the robots want to destroy us. It could also go in a less troubling direction, but one that brings up a lot of ethical questions. AI might just want to exist alongside us. Imagine a future when a constitutional amendment granting equal rights to all artificially intelligent beings is debated on the Senate floor. How would you react? Jess? Okay, you're gonna be fine, honey. Okay, you're really good. Okay. So great. What happened? Oh, she uh, she dislocated her wrist. It's okay. She fixed it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, thank you. Are you a doctor? No. Get away from my daughter. She was just trying to help. You mean it? Look, just because she's an. You want to have one? That's fine. Just keep it away from my child. It's only natural. This mother is protective. She fears what she doesn't understand. There's a whole Pandora's box of difficult ethical issues that arise. Does that thinking machine have the same rights that we afford to human beings? Does that thinking machine deserve a certain kind of autonomy, even though we created that thinking machine? Humans probably won't be too keen to give up their alpha dog status on Earth. Thing is, we may not have a choice when dealing with beings smarter and stronger than we are. The question is, do human-like robots deserve equal rights? We get into this weird ethical territory because we know a machine's not a human. Is it more like a dog? You know, dogs have certain rights, pets have certain rights. So if I come to your house and I kill your dog, which I would never do, People would say, well, that's not right, because my dog is a living being and it has a consciousness of some kind. I think that machines will get some kinds of rights. My own hope is that we do recognize these entities as being persons deserving of rights and that we will treat them accordingly. And you know what? If we treat them well, then perhaps they're going to treat us well in return. It's possible that AI may just take the power it wants. It'll certainly have the skills for it. That means that the future could be a world where robots are no longer working for us, but will have the same status as humans.